How about that? Doing the kingpins. Somebody's been eating good. Uh, changing out the kingpins. On both sides. Not sure if the other one was bad on this side. This is the old one. But uh, I know the other side had to have been bad. So we'll see. So we're going on a parts run. I need uh, two bearings. Uh, that up top is a seal. And uh, pretty much it's uh, inner bearing, outer bearing. One's bigger, one's smaller. Throw this thing in a day mode real quick. We're good to go. So we have this um, shop down the street. Give a shout out to Russo Brothers. Uh, the owner, Slavic, he said he was starting a YouTube channel. So I want to give him a shout out. He said he's been watching my stuff. That's kind of cool. Feel free to give me a discount whenever you feel like it, bro. <clears throat> what? You got some of the nicest cars over here. Not today, but usually they do. Got a bunch of M3s, all like rare cars. <sighs> but, uh... Yeah, so luckily they're right down the street from my yard, or from our yard. That's uh, Russo Brothers. They'll be moving soon. They bought a whole bunch of uh, land, so they're building like a new parking area and stuff like that. So, um, they're most likely not going to have my parts. It's usually a shot in the dark because they mostly do like Volvo stuff, even though I would think the axle will still be the same. But we'll find out here in a little bit once I go and check. Okay, where can we park? Here we go. Looks like a pretty good reserved spot for me. Actually, I can park right here. Screw it. <clears throat> so there's a trucking school right here, actually. It's like a private little trucking uh, Hindu school. I think there's something behind me. I guess I'll find out if I hit it. But, yeah, so I'm gonna leave the AC on for the boy. Hopefully he doesn't jump out the back. Shouldn't jump out, right, buddy? I should be all right. We gotta get a second sip of this. That unlock button. And uh, let's go in, boys. So this is the bearing set, the hub seal, the gaskets. That's the uh, total amount. That's a case of starter fluid. And then um, I'm looking for the air dryer, which is a lot cheaper here than at the dealer. So, and maybe shocks if they have them. It's looking promising. Everything that AK and I did, we had to undo. Good? Yes. Okay, back to work, boys. I'm not paying you to stand around. It's fucked up, man.
So these shocks are also kind of going bad. Um, it compresses with a little bit of force. It comes out slowly, but pretty sure it's bad. I mean, it does it does have some leaking. So wherever it came from, I'm gonna pull this one off. I'm gonna pull the other one off, and then I have a bad air dryer. I ordered one, but. Believe it or not, getting parts for this freaking truck, everything, there's a wait. You gotta order this, you gotta order that, you gotta wait for this, you gotta wait for that. And then also, this uh, ABS valve right here. So it's leaking, and not only that ABS valve, but one axle, two axle. One, two, three, four hub seals. They're all starting to seep, so that means they're all starting to go bad it's not much but it's gonna get worse so um so i gotta pick up new uh new axle seals um new abs valve two new shocks air dryer and cab shocks so i already ordered this i ordered the cab shocks um that's the only two things I guess that I had to order so far. Uh, these shocks, I should be able to find them here locally. And then that ABS valve, God knows, but most likely gonna have to order it too because my luck, nothing is ever in stock. So um, I guess we're gonna find out here. Probably, probably tonight on my way home, I'm gonna stop by. I'll show you guys that. I'm gonna see if they have that uh abs valve um, i can't really drive with that leaking that bad because when i push on the brake pedal it's actually just pissing out air so that's uh i don't know especially with my like i might get pulled over and uh get it put out of service again so we don't want that anyway so yeah just gonna put these shocks in the back of my car and then uh we'll go from there so yeah, and uh, we're going to pull this one off right now, actually. And we'll see how that is. And speaking of pulling things off, you guys can tell we got the new kingpins in. Got the new tie rod in. The new drag link. So far, everything is pretty much brand new for the steering. All these U-joints, they're all, they've all been replaced. The only thing I got to replace next is the gearbox. That's on the next to-do list. Not important because it's not leaking or anything. We're making any noises, but that's next on the to-do list. So, um, yeah. So this has been greased. As you can tell everything's pretty good. Uh, my my brake chambers are still good. I thought about replacing those, but the mechanic was looking at them and he said they're still fine. No point in replacing it. So, so there's that. Yeah, and I'm just going to pull this other shock off, pull it off, and then tomorrow morning on my way here, I'm going to stop by because the place is right down the street from here and uh, pick up the two new shocks. What's going on, y'all? We're back underneath the truck. Everything's looking all right. Anyway, um, so this ABS module right here is uh, leaking air. So this is the ABS plug right here. If you ever have to do this on your own, it's not too hard. I mean, it's got the little three prongers. So, just take this, tuck it away. Don't forget to put it back on later. Well, she's back. Anyway. So, now we're gonna do this airline. Uh, these two here, popped them off, marked them off as which one is which, but typically if you leave the fitting on when you put it back on, I mean, when you pull it off, put the fittings back, that way you always know what you're doing. But uh, shouldn't be too hard. Um, I believe each of these is for a different airline, so I don't even think it matters which way you flip it. But uh, you wanna try to put it back the way you got it off, so. 
I just loosened this up. Um, still haven't loosened this one up because I want to try to get these off first. And then uh, then I'll pop these off and pull the, pull the ABS valve off. Shouldn't be too hard, but uh, as you can tell, there's almost no room to play. And I did clean the pumpkin off a little bit with my belly here. So and I wore the wrong collar shorts for working on oily stuff. So there's my life today. But anyway, yeah, so got to pull these off and then uh, we'll go from there. Let's do that. So we're back at it. Um, I got the new part in. The only thing that changes is the ABS sensor. This is, as you can tell, it's a screw in. And this is like a little uh, twist in. So when you buy it, they do uh, give you an adapter. So this is the new part that screws into that. And it, you know, it just twists once. And then uh, this one goes with the, as you can tell, it's got the threads. Plugs directly into the old one. Okay, I had lunch, so I'm feeling a little thick today. I mean, uh, already. <laughs> so, plug this in, and then we'll go from there. So, should be pretty self explanatory here. If you guys can't see, don't shoot the messenger that so I did have an ABS light on uh, recently on my truck too so had to have been this um, stupid module or ABS ABS module forgot to grab some zip ties so I'm gonna go out there grab some zip ties unless I can twist this around somehow around this airline maybe And you gotta take into account all the crap that's down here. So, then just like this, it should plug right in one of these two, three ways. I'm doing this upside down, guys, so it's uh, I can't see inside the actual sensor itself. Oh wow, and this is how it fits, it's pretty stupid. And that's how it fits. It's pretty stupid. So there you have it. That was a sensor. Now I'm just gonna go grab me a zip tie. Push this up a little bit. Yeah, the zip tie so it doesn't get stuck on anything when you're driving down the road or rattle and uh, cut to the airline. So yeah, there she is. That's the new ABS module. The other one that I had on here was from 99. It had a date on it for manufacturer and it showed 99. So for it to last like 21 years through everything it's been through, these things are pretty solid. Now I probably should have replaced this one too. So you have one ABS module, the one on the other side, and then you have the ABS uh, controller, the valve, and uh, they can all go bad. So there's one up here, the one we changed already. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, that was a quick three-minute install as far as ABS goes, and this is only two, uh, two bolts, and she's good. So now I'm going to fire it up, build up the air, release the brakes, and uh, push on the brake pedal, see where the next leaks are coming from as you get to it. Yeah, so I still have a leak when I push down on the brakes. I come to the conclusion that... So when you push down on your brakes, there shouldn't be any air coming out of here. So I think this valve is broken too. Uh, I'm gonna replace this now or uh, next, so probably tomorrow. I'm gonna pull it off now, but the the leak is coming from somewhere. Um, it's only when you apply the brakes. The only other thing I haven't replaced is this valve right here. It's a relay valve right there. So. So the other one I can, I might pull off today and just say screw it, but once I replace this one and that one, there's not going to be a single valve on this truck that hasn't been replaced. So yeah, I'm going to pull this off right now and then uh, hopefully I can find one tomorrow.
All right, so on top of all my other issues, <clears throat> got some chipping paint there and here. I sanded all this down. It's all smooth. Still got to primer it. Got it. I had a crack right here about the truck with it. So, or was it here? I can't tell anymore because now it's all bundled up and fixed. And then uh, here, when I got hit, this all ripped out. It used to be in here. So right now, this is where the hole is. So I'm gonna fill it up right now one more time. Uh, let it dry, sand it down, and then uh, drill a new hole in there. And uh, hopefully it can hold this stud. And then uh, go all the way down here, primer and paint. That's the plan anyway. So we'll see how that works out. All right, so here's the back panel that I'm about to paint. Um, of course, there was some damage and stuff like that, scratches. So once again, guys, this paint... You know, just for just for touching up and painting things until I get the truck actually painted. This whole wall is getting replaced. And uh, also, I just started priming the front as well. So here's the front and the roof. It's all gonna get painted right there. All right, so the cab is dry. You can kind of tell, but it doesn't need to get wet sanded right here. But overall, it's pretty, pretty good. A lot less than what it was. So you can kind of notice it, but like I said, gotta wet sand it. And then wash the cab too, because it is dirty. Anyway, so um, I'll show you the A-pillar. So, a pillar right there came out pretty good the roof came out really good so the perfect match overall came out came out pretty nice can't complain um like i said it, you know if you don't obviously if you don't know that it's been painted you won't even notice it because you won't really look for it but the back still does, like I said, need to get um, wet sanded. You can barely actually even tell. Anyway, so as I emphasized, when I paint the truck completely, this whole back panel, as you can tell by the rivets up there, so the whole back panel's gotta pop off, put the new back panel on, and then uh, paint it all together. Now back to this. So I got this valve, and it wasn't holding obviously, so I gotta replace it. This is the new one. Service, emergency, and it's labeled. So when you put it on, you know exactly which one's the red one, which one's the blue one. So this one's good here. This one's whatever. But anyway, it's leaking from in here, so it's not holding uh, pressure. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put this thing back in here, and then. Uh, just put the valves on with the airlines and call it a day. Well guys, we got another little issue. Not really another issue, but it is an issue. Cab bags. I wasn't going to replace these until I got back and got my new shocks. But you can hear. She's leaking. So, before some dummy says anything. Um, before you take the red airline out, you have to put some kind of support on the frame. So when the cab comes down... It doesn't mess with your money. You know what I'm saying? Or well, your hands. So what I'm actually doing right now is I pop this off. So if you push this down, the cab goes up, right? If you go like that, the cab drops. So what I'm going to do is extend this dongle right here. And uh, get the bags all the way up. So keep it roughly around here somewhere like that. And then what I'm going to do... Let's pop this airline out. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. I probably won't be able to. I lied, I got it with one hand. So now there's no pressure on the bag. Already unscrewed it. So as you can tell, I would go like this. But as you can tell, it's never that easy, right? So the cab has to go up more. See? Or unless I can take, actually I might have to pull the fitting off. 
and then it should pop out. Yeah, so I'm gonna pop the little fitting off for this and then uh, it should pop right out. But also I believe it has to unscrew on the top. So on the top it has um, a housing where it sits. So it's gonna look like this. Uh, like that, so it sits inside of a screw. Get onto it and pop it out. Okay, so get the bag off. So you get this. These are original bags from 21 years ago. You have this plate. Sits like so. Just like this. Like that. Sits right up there. As you can tell on that nut. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to get some WD-40 on that. Clean it up. Clean the bottom off. You can see those bushings, those cap bushings right here. What they rest on. That uh, bump stop right there hits it when your cab leans too much left or right. Um, as you can tell, my shocks are long gone. I can't have those until next week, so we're uh, we're winging it. But uh, yeah, so for now, I just gotta change it, change that bag because that is a DOT violation. So got this little fitting off. Throw it in here. So I decided I forgot to close this vlog out. I was just uh, sitting here chilling around my cousin's house, having a big old biker party thing that we do every year. There's a lot more bikes over there. There's a lot more that are not here. But anyway, I saw that I didn't close out the uh, this vlog. So I got the bags on. Obviously, there's no air in them, I think. Uh, there's a little bit, but anyway, so the bags are changed. The shocks are still not done. It's been a couple of days since I was doing that work. But yeah, the airlines and the valve is all good. Um, the airbag is good, done. So pretty much is all set up. Really interrupted by a bad uh, timing call. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I just had a bloody nose anyway, so I got some on my shirt. But yeah, so with that being said for you guys, thank you for watching. As always, yeah, baby girl, sheesh. But yeah, anyway, guys, so thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. So peace out.